flux. So we ask, we said the question here says, given that y is equal to x to the power x, find dy over dx. So let's get this done. Um, solution. So I'm um, given that y is equal to x to the power x. Now, usually for this, we would assume that perhaps we could use the general method of differentiation. And don't forget we said for general method, the idea is that we multiply by the power and subtract 1 from the power. But the thing here is this. For this question here, the power is still the variable, which is x, and not a whole or not a, a number. So assuming this power was less than like 3, I will simply multiply by 3 and subtract 1. But for the fact that this part here is one of the variables, especially, especially um, the variable with which we are differentiating with respect to, which is, which is x. So for this case here, you can't say multiply by the part and subtract 1. It doesn't work here. So for this now, what do I do? My first case is that I will take the log of both sides. So take log, take log of Sides. So I have that log y is equal to take log of this becomes log of x to the power x. So I have this when I take log of both sides. Now next up, there's a log logarithm that says if I have log a to b to power b with this, from the loss of log we said the power comes down here. So this is equal to b log a. So the part here comes this way. Alright. If I use this idea here, it means that our have log y is equal to the part comes down here becomes x log x. So I have this one here. So I'm now at this point. For this here, I can see that if I could get dy by the x, that means I have to differentiate this and this. So as it becomes sort of an implicit differentiation. Why for this one here, I'm having two terms of mine, which are x and then log x. So x multiplies log x, so I'm using product rule. So for this one here, I'm using implicit differentiation. For this one here, I'm using product rule. For implicit differentiation, we said the idea is that whenever you differentiate a y, you have, or you attach the y by the x, as we said in our previous class, I'll leave a link to this to, to implicit differentiation uh, in the description of this video. Alright, for this now, if I differentiate log y, I'll have 1 over y, then of course I'll now attach dy over dx. We've discussed this idea in our previous classes. So this is equal to, for this one here, I'll have to use a production differentiation. Because x is multiplying log x. I will say we use product true whenever you have two times multiplying. So before we do this here, for product true, we say we have for these two here, this one becomes u and this becomes v. So it's like saying u is equal to x such that the u over the x is equal to 1. And of course v is now equal to log x such that the v over the x is equal to 1 over x. So I have this. So if I attach this production here, from production we said the y over the x is equal to v du over the x plus u dv over the x. This is from production. So hence, I will now have 1 over y into dy over the x being equal to so, differentiating this now using production, it becomes v. V, that's not the formula, v is log x, it becomes log x, that's v into, next up, the u over the x, the u over the x is 1, so 1 plus, next up, say u, u here is x, so it becomes x into the v over the x, the v the x is 1 over x, so 1 over x. Alright, so this one here was got using implicit differential idea. 
while this one is from production. If I expand this, I have that 1 over y into dy over dx is equal to log x times 1 is log x plus x times 1 is x all over x. So I have this. If I work on this, I will have that 1 over y um, dy all over dx is equal to, this gives you log x plus x over x gives you 1. So I have this. To solve this one here, the idea is simply for this, it's mathematically correct if I move y over here, or perhaps before then, you could still rearrange this two if you want to. So I can say that 1 over y into dy over dx is equal to 1 plus log x. These are the same thing, alright? Same thing. Alright, so from this now, I can now move y over here. So I'm saying that dy over dx is equal to, of course, this one is the middle. So you can come up here. So let's become y into 1 plus log x. Alright, so we have it. You can see, say, multiply 3 by y. If I multiply 3 by y, it becomes times y, such that y times y is off. This now becomes times y. So y into this. And after that, y into this. We see the same thing. Alright, from here, uh, we can, this is our answer, but we can't leave our answer in this form because we have to express our answer in terms of x only. So hence, my idea will now be express y in terms of x. But from the question here, but from the question, we said y is equal to x to power x. So therefore, dy over dx is equal to y, which is x to power x into 1 plus log x. So I have this. Alright. So this now becomes the solution to the problem. So this is how you solve this particular question.